Yeah, that's what I'm planning on fading. It's, it is going to be cool. We're going to be much, much better at shooting the baddies. All right, so what is this spear? This spear is... Yeah, that's what's interesting. It's like it does less damage than the knife, but it has more armor penetration. You know, it's like... It, it's really surprising how strong um, the, the, the knife I have is. Yeah, that's 100% true, Fading. I want the DLC as well. But it, it doesn't look like it goes on sale often. So, like, this plasteel knife, for whatever reason, just does insane damage. It does 8.98 damage per second, but it has less armor penetration than the spear. There's no, like, accuracy calculation like there is on guns for it but anyway yeah I think you're right maybe plasteel is just a good material but if they have armor I'll, I'll switch it out you know who needs it is uh, what is Pete so people can have both can they have both a knife and like a melee weapon and a gun, or is it only one or the other? Because Pete is like, he's sweet at melee fighting and shooting. So I'd kind of like to have him like be able to switch, but I don't know how viable that is in the game, like where you, you know, you have a, a backpack or something. All right, so she's using this bolt action rifle, which is damage 18, right? He'll just hit him with the gun. Well, I guess that can hurt people. I want her to get that. And uh, Eugene, can you prioritize hauling the medicine? All right. So Emmy just left her gun there. So Emmy now has what gun? She's got an assault rifle. Now, it's less damage, but it fires faster. Yeah, I think you're right, Benjamin. I mean, it might be nice to test the DPS if that's what you're talking about. Um, Bill Traxxas, what do you... You have a great bow? It does a ton of damage. I mean, it suggests that its damage is insane. But it fires in bursts, right? See, this is the thing. So it's like ranged cooldown 1.5 seconds. But Emmy's gun, for example, um, has, well, oh no, burst count 3. That's the thing. Right, right, right. So it has a 1.7 cooldown, but it fires three of these 11 damage shots in a burst. It's also 31 range versus Biltraxis's bow, which uh, eh, has a good range. It just doesn't do the burst. All right, so let's see. Who else has a gun? He's got a revolver, uh, which has... Yeah, it's okay. Pete, how good is your bolt-action rifle? It's pretty good. Dennis, what do you have? You have a bad revolver. Okay. Get rid of the bow? Yeah, that's what I think, too. It just keeps pretending like the bow is sweet, but... Alright. Um, Bill Traxxas, go ahead and uh, equip that gun. Alright. Oh, horses are doing their thing. Okay. No, Dennis is terrible at fighting. Dennis's shooting is two. He's an animal man. That Dennis. He's good with animals, bad with weapons. He's a beautiful man. Not he's a lover, not a fighter. Okay. So Let's see. What's everybody doing? Playing billiards. Hey, we finished medicine production. Great. All right, I'm going to pause it while we think about what to research next.
So we could go for um, precision rifling, which would allow us to actually make assault rifles. So here's our research choices. We could go into precision rifling to make assault rifles. We could go into shields if we wanted to equip shield belts. I don't know how easy those are to make. We could go for package survival meals if we wanted to make that. We could also go back and do um, carpet making uh, to make people happy. Oh, you can't shoot out of them? I see. Okay, that makes sense. Um, sterile materials. This is where you can make the sterile tile. But yeah, if it's going to be hard, then... Eh. Oh, hospital beds are over here. I, th I really think, like, that assault rifles just seem like a good thing to have for everybody. All right, let me see. Yeah, we're still really, really low on wood. Um, let's see, what are you doing? Can you actually prioritize this grave? I want to get that body out of here. Hey, where'd you go? I think somebody stepped on the job site, and so she just quit. No, I want you to finish that grave. Somebody needs to finish this body. Okay, great. Do, 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 do. What weapons did I have? Just did whatever you started with. I don't, I don't know if they added weapons or anything to Team Fortress 2. Um, a new quest has become active. It is called Fur's Collection of Fortune. Let's see what this is. Fur, Prime Counselor of... Eastern Del Hister has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth $930 not far of us. It's a legendary steel spear. That seems pretty good. But there might be an unknown threat. Ooh, I love this. This seems very reasonable. It's only a one star. Um, where is it? Okay, so it's just north of us. Oh god, we're going for it. We're going for it. This is going to be a terrible plan, but I'm going for this legendary spear. All right. So we can send Pete and Strapping and Prissy. Well, actually, I'll ask you guys. How many people would you send on this, by the way? Um, Prissy is a boss at fighting, and so is Pete. Strapping ain't no joke either. He's got a revolver. He might want something better than that. It's Pete's time to shine. Do you mean just send Pete sh solo? I mean, I could, but it seems risky. Just send him and he can use the spear. Well, he is my best melee. -er. Okay, so then let's go Pete strapping Prissy and send him out. The only the only concern I have is if I send out three people and we get raided in the meantime, do we have enough for base defense? So maybe I should only send a party of two out. I think Prissy and Pete would be okay. They're made to fight. No. No medical. Nobody has medical. Zero, zero, and zero. I could go, though, Pete, Prissy, and, like, you know, Bill Traxis does have a little bit of medical. Yeah, I think I'll take... Um, Bill Traxis, Prissy, and Pete. Let's go for it. 
so we're going to go then. Um, I'm actually going to be very, very uh, cheesy and just save the game here and just pretend like what I'm doing is legit. But what I'm going to do is go out to the world map and I'm going to uh, select us and we're going to uh, form a caravan. And we're going to go for this. Okay. It's going to take 5.7... Bill has self-10 checked. Oh, okay, right. Okay. So we're going to send Pete, and we're going to send uh, Prissy, and we're going to send Bill Traxis. Okay? And then we will send... Uh, looks like... We will take these two animals. Uh, do I want to take a calf? Is that smart? I could just take two horses, right? So two horses, that slows us down. Why are our horses, oh, no, 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 it's speed, it's per, okay, that speeds us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will make us move 7.8 per day. Let's do that. Before I go make bed rolls, says Gemini. Oh, foals are babies. Oh, why am I... Can I take my bigger ones? Let me take, like... Oh, this one is pregnant. Let me take, like, a stallion or something. Yeah, there we go. Stallion. Stallion. Wild stallions. The wild stallions are going. Take the mare. Take it all. Man, the muffalo is pretty slow. Yeah, three horses is sick. 14.2 tiles per day. So that's amazing. Okay. Um, bedroll. I don't think I have any, and I probably should, right? So should I just go back out of this and then go into my base? And then where do you make a bedroll? At the tailor place? Or is it a crafting thing? Oh, you furniture them, and then you uninstall them once completed. Okay. Huh. Boy, I didn't know that. Alright, so I guess I'll make, like, three bed rolls. Like that. And then... Here, prioritize this. Yeah, it's not, but we'll get there. Here, finish this up, Nitro. Let's get these bed rolls done. Oh, he won't build it. It's interesting, Nitro's a, a great at crafting. Alright, and then what we do is we just uninstall it? Okay. Now, uh, Weaves, can you... Now, for those bed rolls to be available... I'm having a great time with this game, Benjamin. I really recommend it. It's fantastic. Do I need to put them in the stockpile before they will become available for the inventory management screen at the caravan? Or can I just leave them right there and just hop into it? Just not be forbidden? All right, yeah, they're allowed. Okay, great. So then let's go back to the world map. 
let me select my base. Let me go form caravan. And then we're going to just go up here. And then we're going to accept it. And then we're going to go back into it. We're going to wild stallions. Okay. Hey, why aren't we as fast as we were? What happened? Did my horses... Are they tired? What just happened? I was moving like 14 tiles per day. Oh, because I don't have people. All right. Um, here we go. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I was just leading the animals by themselves. Right, right, right. Okay, here we go. Um, there. There we go. Now we have people. Okay, items and travel supplies. And then I need to go um, not automatic, right? And so we're taking... 249 corn, 11 simple meals, 6 medicine, and we're taking the bed rolls. So, I mean, I think this looks pretty good. Should I take some more food? Let's take this dead body. All right. I got... I don't know. I, I feel okay about this layout. It seems fine. I know. I don't know why we're almost out of meals. I, I, I think... Uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but we're not doing good on food. All right. Let's go for it. They only have 4.5 days of food and will become hungry quickly. All right. Um, then... I don't have any more food. Can they eat just, like, raw meat? Have some. Now that's not really adding to the food supply. Uh, let's see. I think they can make it. Go for it. And then let's get back home. And then let's just try to figure out... Oh, we have 28 simple meals. Oh, thank you, Gemini. That's perfect. They'll automatically harvest berries as you travel. Thank you. Okay. Look at my power grid. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. All right. Let's get this baby going. All right, so Emmy is getting some Z's. Everybody's packing up. Sylvie, what are you doing? You're cleaning? Okay, Sylvie. Um, I appreciate your cleaning. It's fantastic. The base looks great. It really does. Uh, can you go back to also hauling? Actually, you know what? Let's just go back to cooking. Why don't you cook? I do, but I, they're sleeping. I have, like, three people who are good at cooking. All right, they're getting the caravan together. It's up here. It's all roped up. They're, they're getting their saddles packed. This is great. Good times. Low medicine, I know. Actually, speaking of low medicine... Bills. Add bill. Make medicine. Um, prioritize medicine. Do until you have. Uh, you know. I don't know. Make it all. Make all the medicine. I think I have 11 of this. So do that. Now this skill is. Uh, who, who? What is this for? wooden drug lab is there a way to easily see like what skill it takes for mega sloth has become tame self tamed I mean what so this guy's just on our side you think I should add this mega sloth to the caravan 
Probably not, but that's an interesting development. Okay. Um, okay. This is fine. He's making that kibble. She's building a wall. He's hauling wood. She's cooking the meals. He's doing the research. Hauling wood and hauling wood. There's a lot of wood to be hauled. Uh, we do have a lot of floors that we're trying to build here. All right. So they're getting the supplies together. Have Oh, can people ride that sloth? God, that would be hysterical. Where is that mega sloth? Where'd you go, mega? Um, animals. Mega sloth, where are you? Oh, cool. Oh my god, you can. Yes! It will randomly haul items from time to time. Yes, do it! This is when it's going to pay dividends to have our good buddy, um, who has an 18 level on animals, you train that sloth to be beautiful. Oh my god, we're going to have a sloth army. All right, our caravan's going. Here they go. They're setting out. Bomb voyage. All right. World map. Let's see him go. This is going to go really, really well. There they go. They're going to take the road, I think, to uh, go faster, I imagine. All right. So now we have a bunch of wood. And what's everybody doing? He's cooking. That's good. She's building traps. That's good. Hauling wood. Making kibble. Good. Researching hauling wood and hauling wood. Okay. Well, we have plenty of wood now. So let's think about... Dennis, can you prioritize the sloth? Where is that thing? Is it coming towards us? Oh my god. Look at that grizzly. You know what? Can I just ha I want. I want to see if he can tame this grizzly. How tameable is a grizzly? Advanced training. This is... I'm telling you. This dude can do it. He is good. Tame it. It's a 30% chance to attack. That's bad. It's coming into base, though. Let's see what happens. This is... It's killing a raccoon. This is a good time to do it, Dennis. Dude, where are you? Prioritize it. It's in the base. If it goes badly... I know. If it goes badly, the, the cannons will shoot it down. <laughs> Tame it. Get in there. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. It's tame time. Operation Grizzly Bear. Okay, Operation Grizzly. Go, 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 Dennis. Oh, my God. No. It didn't work. We rolled badly. The, <laughs> the animal whisperer. Oh, no. Dennis. Okay. Okay. Run away, Dennis. Run here. Alright, everybody else. Emmy. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm sorry. Go, Dennis. No, no, Dennis. Run, dude. Run. Are you being, like, held? Dennis touched a vulnerable body part of the grizzly bear, demanding obedience. The grizzly bear refused. 
It did. It did. This isn't going well. Okay. Um, so, Dennis, I'm sorry about this. That was, that was foolish, but it was fun. I risked it for the biscuit, and Dennis may be dead. All right, draft, draft Eugene. Go fight this thing. Run, Dennis. <laughs> I think we did too. The vulnerable part. Go, Dennis. Okay. How hurt is this thing? It's in severe pain. It's being blasted by all of our mini turrets. Go, Dennis, go. It's down. Here's the question. Dennis. Okay. Cannot tame. Can we rescue it? Like, what would happen if we were to rescue it at this point? Is this a... Is that a good idea? So my choices are I could just hunt it. It'll still be angry when it gets up. All right, we got to get rid of it then. All right, you're out. Oh, cool, people. I had no idea about that. Yeah, I was mostly playing Team Fortress when it, like, right first came out. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, just, just hunt it, Emmy. Go finish it. I'm going to try fading. I'm never going to give up on bears. I want bears on my team so badly. Oh, my God. That might be one of the, probably the, the most disturbing part of the game for me. Is uh, when you tell them to hunt the downed animal and they go over and there's like a progress bar filling up, which is just them kind of like executing at close range the animal and then it has a a scream like a death you know a vocalization of their death and then you pick them up for the butcher pile sergeant grumbles indeed oh poor dennis let's see how bad he got hurt he got scratched wait a minute his arm got shot off oh no I think the auto con cannon shot off his arm. Dennis! Well, that's, that's a shame right there. We do need a prosthetic. I think I actually researched prosthetics. Um, let me see where that is. I swear I did. Or I thought about it. Yeah, I have I have prosthetics research, so I don't know how to build a prosthetic arm or where you do that, but that's yep, we're gonna need to do that. Okay, Eugene, can you prioritize tending to Dennis? Fix this guy up. Well, that was bad. Good news is we can make some parkas out of that grizzly bear. Tattered apparel. Dennis Aw. Uh, Dennis's apparel got tattered. I've read some of your message there, people, but I gotta uh, be honest with you. I'm not... Uh, it's hard to fully process that much specific information about a game I'm not playing right now. I'm, I'm focusing on this one, my friend. I appreciate... Uh, all of that information, but it's it's hard to digest it properly when I'm doing this. All right, so the giant sloth is here, sleeping in a bed. That is awesome. All right, right next to Dennis. Dennis is actually doing okay, w except for the whole arm thing. <laughs> Where do you build a prosthetic arm? <laughs> I must need some kind of... Is that at the, uh, the machining table? Where do I make that? Yeah, it is. Okay, prosthetic arm. All right, prosthetic arm. Sure. Sure, make one. Make it. It's a great idea. All 
All right, let's go check on the caravan. Nah, it's not that far. Go. Go, caravan, go. Oh, they're sleeping. Okay, right. Oh, man, that was so funny. When grizzly bears attack, it was basically like the, you know, the documentary Grizzly Man. That's what happened. Dennis normally speaks with the grizzlies very well. That went badly. All right, Sylvia, what you doing? You're cooking? I guess you are, right? Weaves, you're eating? All right. It, Dennis is fully healed. Dennis just popped out of the bed. You see that? He just jumped out of the bed, but he's missing an arm. He doesn't care. All right. Um, <laughs> Weaves, uh, he's butchering. Okay, that's good. Butchering that big bear. Oh, no! Mad horses? Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but it seems many of the horses in the area have been driven insane. They're down here. Okay, I thought they meant our horses, first of all. Uh, let me check our horses. Our horses seem to be okay. And I hope the horses that we took on the caravan are, quote, okay. It's just these horses that are manhunters. Oh, and it's only these two. This stallion is fine. All right, so they're going to be coming for us. We'll be ready. And we're going to be making horse leather clothing. All right, cool. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Where are these horses going? They actually might not be able to get to... Oh my god, no, people are outside. Oh no. Okay, I forgot about this. Oh boy, alright. Um, I need you guys to move over here immediately. Run. Colonist needs treatment, who? Oh, Eugene! Okay. Run in. Run in here. Go, go, go. Just run, dude, just run. Get in. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't think they could follow you like that. Darn, okay. Um, run over here, and then... Normally, my people never leave the barricade, so I didn't prepare for that right. I was... I forgot that I had all this stuff going on with the wood and the, the wall, so people are outside. Okay, I need you to go here immediately. Strapping, um... You're in the army now, buddy. Dennis, you're in the army. Get in here. Go here. Weaves, get here. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Eugene is actually pretty tough. He's got good armor, but these are crazy horses. Go, Eugene, go. All right, Weaves... Yep, as soon as they get into range, hopefully... Oh my god, Weaves. Alright. Run, Eugene, run. <laughs> I know, I wish he had it. He's getting killed. He's actually getting killed. He's not gonna make it. Hmm... Uh, it's just too bad. Okay. Weaves, I need you to go, um... Yeah, you need to move. Okay. Move over here. Nitro, you have to move over here. We, we, we are desperate. Oh, Emmy's coming. Uh, he's down. Horribly down. Okay. Let's go for it. Problem is, he's our doctor. Okay. She got that thing down. 